Hi, this is Boiler Dan Munn and welcome to my channel if you're a first time viewer. I have been building model ships for a few years now. My next building project is going to be the Flying Dutchman. The kit came with a couple of extras, a stand, and I have not opened this. I'll open this later towards the end of the build. This is pretty heavy, so I'm, I'm uh, fairly impressed with this. And then it also came with a lighting kit. I'm not going to use this specific one because I'm going to do a wired lighting and I've got some exciting news on what I'm going to do for lighting on this ship. I purchased this online from modelexpo.com. Let me show you what's in the box and then I hope you will decide to follow along as I build this amazing looking ship. Without any further ado, let me show you what came in this box. Basic contents of the ship. This will be the hull and some of it I'll just have to get into. I can tell this is part of the deck. This is part of the deck. Same thing with uh, these pieces. Again, more of the hull. You can see some of the cannon win windows. Gets a little more interesting down here, a little different type of wood. With some of this will be, I can tell, probably the rear of the ship. It does come with a couple of flags. I may do some work on these, some artwork. I've got some uh, unusual ideas for sails and maybe that flag also. Some of the smaller parts, you can tell these will be the bases for the cannons. I'm really going to do some radical work on this. This is the front of the ship and it looks like teeth. I probably will completely redo this and use shark's teeth, so that'll be interesting. If you watch any of my videos, I do like to do some things that are unique to my own ship. This looks like it's going to be the planking for the hull. And more planking. I'm guessing this is thinner, maybe the deck. And this has a little bit of uh, walnut, just a few pieces. I'm not sure why. We'll find that out later. And if you could look closely, there's different sizes in there. So I will separate all this out as I get ready for the build. Again, you can see there's a couple of pieces of walnut in there. Lots of different shapes and sizes. So I will separate all those out into individual uh, matching pieces. Several sizes of dowel rods. Looks like I will be making my own grates. This will be a first for me. Some mesh screening. There's two colors of ropes. And these were in a bag with sail material. But then I noticed there are two more in this container. So I'm not going to mix those up. I'll look at them later and see why they're separate. Maybe they're a different size. The sails are all pre-cut. And they have a little, uh, they have some stitching to them. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe there you can. I have some very unique ideas with sails on my Black Pearl, you may recall, that I, I stress them and have torn parts. I'm considering somehow doing the copper leaf on this and then aging it that way. We'll see. I'll test it before I do it, so don't panic yet. There are a lot of interesting parts and pieces in these containers. I am probably going to copper leaf almost every metal object, and that includes the cannons. If you recall in this movie, it goes underwater, so this should be very, very rough. Not real clean and painted. I'm considering lots of ways to make it look uh, aged and rough. But there are two sets with lots of things. This little statue here is the front of the ship. Again, I'm thinking of starting out and just putting copper leaf on all these and use my ammonia magic solution with salt and get that patina on those. So I'm anxious to get that part started, that's for sure. Any of you that know me well know that I like to go by uh, photographic instructions. I noticed there is a, a video tutorial. If you scan this with your, your phone, you can go to a video that Okra has provided, and I may be mispronouncing that. I'm not that familiar with the company as of yet. 
but this will be color photographs giving me some guidance and I'll stress that it is guidance. Uh, I've watched some videos and sometimes you'll get things built too far and you'll wish you could have gone back. Here's the great making segment. Nice color photographs. So we'll go through that together and uh, just kind of flipping through, trying to let you see it's on both sides. Here's Canon construction way back here. I'll build those way, way early and have them ready to go because the lower deck, I want to put them on before I put the upper deck on. Paints also came with the model. I did not uh, get those out and show you, but I've got several stains and paints that can go with it. In addition to the photographs, there are some blueprints. Has to do, do has to do with the masts, things like that. They're on both sides. I'll show you more as the build continues. And my parts list, which is invaluable. I will go through, I will identify all the parts, put them in a place where I know where they're at so I don't get them mixed up. That is what experience has taught me. Lots of parts list. I want to give you a teaser on something that I've been working on both in my head and now in practice. I'm considering making torches that go especially below deck out of these tiny seashells. And you can see now ignore this light, the lower light, ignore this one. But there's actually a light that I've inserted from the back and it's one of the flickering LEDs. And I think I'm going to mount those seashells on the posts at several locations in the ship and then have the, the torch as if it's inside the seashell. That's just part of the creative design that I cannot wait to get started. I hope you'll join me. This concludes my unboxing of the Flying Dutchman. I sincerely hope you'll follow along on this build. I'm excited to get it started. Understand with the details that I'm going to go through on this one, I'm looking at almost a year to get it completed. So do me a big, big favor to help me get more views. Hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. That's one thing you can do. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. You can set it up so it will give you a notice when I post another video. I think this is going to be one of the most exciting and rewarding builds I've done to date. I've got so many ideas in my head on how to change the ship. Just a little bit tweaking. I already mentioned the shell torches that I'm going to put in the ship. I have so many other ideas to make this particular ship very unique. So I hope you'll join me. Follow along. This is Boiler Dan 1. And as always, thanks for watching.